Hello everyone, and I'm Stéline. My name is Emeline, and you're watching ETA to Z on Arts TV. Dance is an integral part of Ethiopia's culture. Ethiopia's mosaic of more than 80 ethnic groups has just as many traditional dances. One of the most iconic is the eskista, which literally means dancing shoulders. But there are many others, and all of them are spectacular. Today, we are at Fendika, one of the temples of Ethiopian music in Addis Ababa, and we are going to meet one of the most famous Ethiopian dancers of the century. Let's move to the beat of Ethiopian music. Nice to meet you. Salam no? Salam no. Dena, dena. Yeah. Thank you. You are comfortable performing everywhere, from the international music festivals to the cluttered and noisy alleys of Mercato. Yeah. Dancing is in your blood. What has dancing brought to your life? Freedom, meditation. Uh, so like my doctor. <laughs> Dance. It's like it's a medanit. Medanit. It's a give me always when I'm stressed. Uh, when I'm stuck, the thing is the dance, only after dance I'm free. Maybe we don't realize it, but dance it really, you click what is not working in your body, you say. Melaku, you are the president of the Ethiopian Dance Art Association. Yeah. One of the main purposes of this association is to register Ethiopian dance art in UNESCO intangible heritage yes. list, right? What would this recognition mean to Ethiopia? This means a lot for us because a lot of appeasement, example like National Theater, one woman dancer, she pregnant, they fire. Hmm. One dancer, when he's older, they fire. No retirement. It's all the clip you can see it without dancer, there is no attractive. Dance is an amazing body language and make bridge for peace, for unite, and also to uh, present our culture from all over the world. It's an amazing thing. But dance is not accepted as art in Ethiopia. So imagine amazing diverse, more than 84 different dance and more than 60 different languages. Our alphabet called Amharic is unique in Africa. It's an amazing thing to have a life culture is not dead you call it tradition it's not a museum it's alive the idea of starting this dance association to protect and also to show the value of the dance because still outside we many investors and the government they don't see it if they see it big potential do you sometimes have this feeling of responsibility towards your people to ensure that dance is recognized as it should be? Yeah, it is a big responsibility. And the responsibility, I don't want to judge or my fingers to others. I want to do my part as much as I can. Because my people is giving me, I should to give back. What are you the proudest about this place, Fendika? Wow, it's a lot. And the guys, for me, my house, my church, uh, my everything. Fendika is not house now. Fendika is a country now. Fendika is not mine. Fendika is for the society, for the people. Fendika are fighting for the art. Fendika is not also in only Ethiopia. Now. It's all over the continent, in the Europe or Asia. People pass by and exchange energy for all, peace, all for all. Thank you so much, Melaku. I'm sure Ethiopians must be so proud of having such an ambassador for Ethiopia's music and dance. Thank you very much to you coming and uh, your uh, appreciation. And thank you for my people. I'm proud of my people. I'm proud of my country. Now it's time for me to try some of the most popular Ethiopian dances. What would be your advice for a beginner? Just what you love and connect with your heart and without shame express your feeling keep the freedom i'm a saganalo you will addis 
has just joined us. Addis is a professional dancer who performs at Fendi Cup and is also teaching individuals how to dance. Hi Addis. Salamna. Salamna. Ndetnish. Denani. Allenalen. Our Farangis like me, good at dancing traditional dances. Betam migermo and and gize. Amazingly, there are Farang that dance so well. More than I expected them to. And there are some that don't understand how to do the dance. It depends on the person or how much of the dance they have understood. But most of the time, they understand how to do it. What are the differences between all the dances? When we travel up north, the people there dance from the waist up. The entire northern region dance from the waist up. That dance is called Diskasta. They use their necks to dance as well. That dance is called Tsegseg. When we go down south, they mostly do hip dances. It's an amazing type of dance. It's a type of dance that would fascinate the world. There are specific ways of dancing, whether you are a man or a woman. Can you please explain to me? For example, when the women dance, they usually have an object on them. So the object women have when they dance is usually an object they would use at home. The men could use objects as well. For example, if we look at minjar dance, the men will use menchi, which is a type of rake or a sickle. They use farming equipment, but the women use local kitchen appliances. So the men and women use different objects, they dress differently, the way they dance is also different. Usually the type of dance men do is more energetic. This is because the women are meant to be presentable. Since women are meant to be wooed and the men are supposed to pursue, the men dance more energetically. And according to your students, which dance is the most complicated? The type of dance my students usually find hard to do is Iskista. Since it's a type of dance you do from the waist up, they usually find it harder to do so. When you do Iskista, you're not just moving your shoulders. Maybe you have air in your lungs or you have to look at certain places when you do it. It takes a lot of bodily coordination to do the dance. How long does it take to master a skista? As long as you have the desire, then six months are enough. Say this word. But you need to have the dedication. Addis, I'm gonna ask you a favor. Okay. Can you please show me some traditional moves? Yes, I can. But first, let me change my clothes. Okay. The dance I'm going to show you now is a Gragina dance. The Gragi region is found in the south. I'm going to show you how Gragi women dance. Okay. First, we start by clapping our hands. Then we bring our right foot to our left foot and vice versa. Then we bring our hands behind our ears like so. Then we bring this forward, then backward, then backwards, then forward. We do it with our right feet first. Right foot forward, then backward, then our left feet. No, no, your left feet. Then forward. Oh, but I'm perfect, but I'm true. How on the moon? Now we will do Kazafa. We will move like so, then we will raise our right foot a bit. Your hands have to be in sync with your right foot. It is such a great dance. Are you tired? No, I'm not. You're doing fine. Now I'm going to show you how to do Tigrayna dance. A Tigray region is found in the north. Is it an easy one? It's easy. As long as you want to learn the dance, then you'll do it. I do. When you do Tigrayna dances, you do it like so. 
ديت هاو دازي شنو متيجو هاو سازكا تك تك اندولت ها سيغا هاو كزيز هاو اندازي 1 2 ها سيغا مدازي This one is difficult ها تا 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 هاو I can't. This is how the women dance. They move their neck. Mm. Mm. Then they do this. And. And. This Tigrinya dance is called Kuda. Turn around like this. They do this dance together. They do it in groups. Is that a move? On a scale from one to ten, how much would you rate my dancing skills? Okay, Well, today I only showed you two types of dances, but uh, I'll give you an 8 out of 10. Eight. eight is a good grade. You're too kind. Finally, I'd like to show you one type of dance that you've probably never heard of. Let's go. Are you ready to dance? We are at Yoli Hotel, where our coach Tommy is giving fitness classes with an Ethiopian touch. What is this concept about? Uh, it's a mix between Ethiopia and worldwide dance, like Afrobeat. We have Ethiopian national nationality dance, also salsa, bachata, kizomba. We have a lot of dances. We bring the hot dances from for, from our national nationality dance, but we use the hot one. To, to get a fit. The most energetic. Yeah, dance fitness uh, is like any workout. So uh, that's why everybody, they love it, they enjoy it. It's not boring because we used a lot of international dance. Also, uh, the dance is very easy. I make it easy to catch it everyone uh, very fast. They get a uh, fasting result. One of the most uh, famous Ethiopian dance is the Eskista, mm. right? Mm. So, is it like fully part also of uh, your own way of dancing? Yeah, we used it. It's, it's possible to, to use any, any uh, Ethiopian nationality dance. Could you please show me the what? basics uh, okay. of Eskista? Yeah, I will show you. Because I've lived here for six years okay. and I'm still far from mastering it. Okay, I will show you. First of all, you have to put your hand like this. Then your shoulder will be like this. Yes, I. When we do like this, our shoulder is going to work out. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. So let's make it fast. One, back, one, back, one, back, one, back, one, back, one, back, one. Make it fast. Ta 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 ta. Make it fast. Come on. Ta 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 ta. Tatam, 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 tatam. This one is basic. Amasa Gunalo. My name is Amasa Gunalo. I will now leave you with Tommy, who will be showing you some of the Ethiopian traditional moves. Guys, enjoyed this episode of ETA to Z. See you all next time.